Hi friends, welcome to the Cloud Academy. Today, I'm going to show you the beautiful tool which is going to be very helpful in your architecture journey and as well as the development journey. Before I get into the topic, let me just give you a quick glance about my channel. Here you can find plenty of videos which are related to the cloud, especially for the Azure and AWS. So you can find the videos for migration, architectures, you can also find uh, Azure and AWS interview based questions. These are all considered from the real time interviews. So it is worth to have a look. Let me jump into our topic. So this tool is azurecharts.com. It was built by one of the Microsoft employee. You can see the name of the person here, but his idea is brilliant everything is in one place when you see here you can find all the azure features with some information on it you can see here when you click on it you can see 360 degrees view of that particular app service or app feature summary so i clicked on one particular feature you can see 11 updates six months and 49 regions of presence three rollout plans so all the information is available here so it is one of the feature but you can uh, go and pick what of the feature you want and just find out what is the information you require it is not stopping there the very important information you will need in your architecture journey and development journey is sla so you need to first find out what is the sla required for your uh, application or for your enterprise architecture so based on that you can also check you, you can see there there is one uh, feature which is coming with a hundred percent sla so it is very hard to find out for each and every feature but everything is in one place you can see there is, there are few features which are coming with five nines and there are few features which are coming with uh, uh, four nines five that is double nine uh, point nine nine five similarly you have many features below so they have listed on or three nines two nines or sla not available all this information is under the sla did you not find it useful definitely it is going to be useful for you in your real time coming to the next one uh, if you need more information you can simply click on it uh, then it will take to you the sla page of the cloud it is the uh, microsoft official page here so coming back to this uh, the next one is status if you want to check the status of that particular uh, feature you can go ahead and see for example i have the instance like vm instance here is called dc or dsv4 in which regions it is available right we we should even see in which region which, which all regions it is available then only you can you will be able to architect properly uh, if that particular instance is not available in europe region but if you are planning for uh, europe region based application as per the gdpr the server has to be there right so there are plenty of uh, uh, requirements which where you need to consider the sla's uh, where that uh, particular server is available all those things will come into the picture so for example if you want to see the particular instance esv4 then you can see complete information about that where all it is available that particular instance is available any azure stack hub south africa north azure south africa west so all this information will be helpful it is not stopping there you have plenty of more information anyway under the status you can check for each and every feature of it uh, next one is timeline under the timeline you can check in how many regions it is available and uh, also when the uh, release date you can see expected q3 2020 and you can also check uh, for the specific reasons for example if you want uh, for the east asia you can filter it by that and then only that fee uh, what are the features are, are available under that will be shown so I'm, i don't want to go with the region wise but if you see all regions there you can find it out the expected date uh, and then the regions for each feature right so under the q4 what it is going to be released these are all q4 releases 2020 uh, and then quarter 1 2021 what is uh, what, where the updates are coming so all this information is under the timeline coming to the regions so for example if you have come across uh, for few features 
like they might be available only in specific regions but they are not available in all the regions right so f f to find out this is the best uh, way like for example if you are non regional that means it is globally available here basically you can check uh, the regional scope so you can select any one of this feature for example i am going to select the cosmos db so if it is a region specific it will show you which all, for which all locations that particular feature is available azure cosmos db is available for all these regions but whereas few features are not region specific there you don't see anything just a non regional that means it is available across the globe so this type of things you can check under the cd uh, regional scope okay uh, one more point i need to highlight here you may get question like cdn is available non regional why specific to china uh, right uh, china china has different policies and rules uh, they have to maintain the data center in the china itself that is the reason it will be separate so uh, if you are launching or if you are planning to launch your application in the china you need to uh, well thorough about uh, about the china formalities uh, having the data centers and all those stuff so coming back to our uh, azure charts here uh, this is one of the feature under the regions then there are plenty of other things but uh, i'm jumping into the solutions so you can also see the solutions where you can find uh, maybe the reference to architectures uh, assume that you are going to build a architecture for app services based, based application along with that i'm also going to have cdn just before selecting the cdn i'm going to show you here how many solutions found 75 solutions found you can click on the drop down and see what are those solutions okay let me just select one more feature so that it will be filtered okay then i also need application gateway for my architecture okay i also need azure active directory with this number of feature combinations only one solution found that you can see here just go and select that under that see it's very easy to filter uh, based on your needs you selected cdn you selected application gateway you selected app services right so uh, here is app services so based on the selections you have made that will filter and give you the architecture reference architecture based on this you can design your own architecture uh, this is really making the uh, i mean it is simplifying the job of a architect and a developer similarly you can again clear select and just select something and go ahead and uh, select what you want basic web application it will give you the complete architecture okay similarly you have a few other features as well uh, like learning stories uh, this is all about uh, customer uh, sto customer stories or uh, you can call it as case studies or use cases uh, then you also have fun so it is really worth to explore and also uh, will be helpful to guide you in the architectures and especially while designing the sla's uh, high availability type of architectures uh thanks for watching my tutorial i'll be coming up with more videos